you gotta do it for the ground. How's it going, my lovely ladies and gentlemen? So we're gonna start this thing off real smooth. Step one, go ahead and grab that Pardo paste. Get your Mr. Miyagi on. It's gonna grab you a little towel, grab some wax, and get to waxing, baby. Just keep it real smooth. So now that you got your wax on, step two. PVA. Now this stuff can get a little messy, so be mindful. Just make sure you got some ventilation going. And yeah, spray away. Action. <laughs> Action. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, so today, we're just getting a couple steps closer to driving the Z on the street. Where do you drove it? In one piece. Yeah, in one piece. All the body panels. So we have the driver side fender and the passenger side fender plugs ready to go. Um, obviously, this one has the bump out for the exhaust. This one I did not put a flange on. Um, I'm not going to be making more than one of these parts because how many people need the bottom half of a carbon fender? So I'm not really too worried about the flange. I already started making that flange, so I just figured continue with it. And then we got the universal um, fender slash hood vents. It's like one style of them. I'm gonna make a whole bunch of different styles just because some people need larger ones. These actually are really nice for fenders in general. It's like the same style as like a lot of like Mustang hood things. So I'm gonna use these on my hood fender combo and run these. So we're just gonna make all the molds for them. We've got, uh, we've already waxed all of these guys three times, PVA'd them and now we're pretty much just ready to throw the orange tooling gel coat on them. And then once that tacks up, then we can just jump into fiberglass mat. You guys have seen us do this like a hundred times on this channel. Yeah. So be a little redundant, but we're gonna run through it. And, and then we'll, at the end, we'll have some uh, news for the Z moving forward, like next steps and stuff like that. Put this back on for some cool B-roll. Xavier's gonna get right now. Oh. Ooh. Dude. People don't realize how much longer it takes to like do things when you're trying to be cinematic. What am I doing? I gotta be pouring it this way, guys. <laughs> Dude, it's so much hotter back here. Yeah, it is. God damn. It's almost as hot as uh, our back room. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you're right. I'm trying to use my little temperature gauges on my forehead. Um, so, MEKP hardener for the orange tooling gel coat. All of their hardener amounts, like mix ratios, are always on the back of either the hardener or the actual resin gel coat that you're mixing. Mm -hmm. Sorry if I just messed that up for you. Yeah, I remember we had somebody ask me. Yeah, so this oh, is God. one and a half to two and a half percent of hardener to gel coat. So what does that mean? Um, so if it's super hot out like it is today, probably ease towards one and a half percent. But if it's kind of cold, like 60 degrees, maybe two and a half. So how do you scale the percentages, I guess, into drops? Like how would you, you just like? Uh, I mean, that's by weight. You know what I mean? So it's okay. a percentage of weight. So it's 605 grams. And let me do this on the calculator and mess up again. So everybody can comment on that. <laughs> when we were doing the clutch, I like, I don't know what I did, like, press the button twice or something. They caught it. I definitely did in that first. Yeah. Point zero, uh, what would you say, 1.5? Yeah, I uh, act like I know, but I need to read it every time. Yeah. 
All my brain power is going to stay so cold. 9.075 grams. Okay. Oh yeah. And that's, I guess, what just activates it into becoming like a, like a hardener in a sense. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. About um, maybe I'd say you have like about 15 minutes of working time with this stuff usually. It gels up pretty fast. Once it starts gelling up, it the heat of the actual hardening of the material makes it harden even faster. So just like in with like resin when we're mixing it, if you have mm -hmm. a big cup of resin and you leave it, and you have a small cup of resin and you leave it, the small cup are hardened way less, the way in way less, sorry, way more time. The, the big cup will harden faster. Okay. Yeah. You know, just because the heat of it, the heat of it hardening, it actually produces its own heat. Do what? Then makes it harden even faster because it's hot. I'm about to say, I remember seeing it. It was smoking up. I'm like, yo, yeah, what is exactly, going yeah. on? But if you had like a, a cup that like just barely you just had, you had like poured some in and then poured some out and it was just like a little bit of resin in it, um, it would never get that hot and it wouldn't harden very fast. That could take like 45 minutes to harden, but the big cup in your hand could take like 10 minutes. Mm. But also that's why it's important to lay down your gel coat evenly because if you lay it down like where it's like puddles and your mold has a bunch of voids in it so it, it'll like puddle and get really thick in areas and run into those areas um then those areas can harden a lot faster than the thinner flat sheets that it just has a little bit of gel coat on it you can get like uh like vein looking things and weird like bubbles and stuff uh from and you can actually get, even get it to crack if it's too thick in areas but you gotta really be doing something crazy <laughs> that's why I, I really like the spray method rather than like lay on with the yeah, brush i've used this cup this cup shoots a lot of material out pretty fast for really detailed stuff i even used this 3m gun with like a 2.0 point, 2 point tip i think this is like a six millimeter tip so this thing cranks but a lot of people just use a brush which i have seen work but i have used it and i have messed up some stuff with that so this is very important information they're getting right now. Yeah, mix, mix your gel coat well. Back to the fun. I'm gonna go mix a little more and then do a second coat. Let it harden up for five minutes maybe. Uh, yeah, I think he's about to go mix up some more. God damn, it is hot. I miss the winter time, but then, it got, uh, then again, I know once winter gets here, I'm gonna be like, you know what? I took summer for granted. Looks like a really orange starburst. The worst flavor. All right, while that dries up, let's go check in on Greg. He's back here doing some quality body work. So we're gonna go check in on him, see how he's been. Fuck, I think I got dust in my god damn it. Oh, you could just tell he's having so much fun. What'd you say? Said they could just tell you're having so much fun doing all this lovely mud. Tree. Huh? Tree fell on it. A tree? Jesus. See the roof. He's like blonde here, like 20 dents on the roof. This whole corridor through the door. Quality hit. Nice. And the whole other side. And the hood. Long day, lots of hours. Heard it first. Now we're gonna head on back to check on the motor.
dusty. Extremely. So what's uh, the game plan now? So now that we have the molds for both fenders and the hood vents, we're gonna make those next. Uh, mount them up. Uh, Where are you planning like to put those? That you, the little fins you just made. Like, half. like here. I like how you just use the dust. Yeah. It's your template. Around there, <laughs> somewhere like that. Kind of like a tear off of these. But it, I want to kind of farther back so they can really evacuate as much air as possible. But there is a frame rail that comes here and then spins. So that'll kind of place where the back of it's going to be. Um, Alex is still making these bad boys, but we kind of put those on the back burner because I really want to just get the lights and stuff like that done. He's finished one of the headlight lenses and the X that goes in it, but we'll explain all that stuff What's when we at? get it. Um, hopefully he'll get us some footage. Actually, I should really remind him about that. But he's also in the middle of making turbo fans for my wheels. Um, I have to... Oh, and... Officially, Techno Toy Tuning is on board, so. What? Yeah. Dang, I just found it out myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so they're awesome guys, and you know I've been preaching about their stuff for forever. But they, they're going to start making me my lower control arms. So mm -hmm. that's awesome. Um, obviously, I love their products. I've got almost everything they make already. <laughs> he invested heavily. Yeah. A... But I got a whole other Z, so you guys, please. Tell them that I sent you, if you go. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, but we're gonna get the control arms so I can get these wheels spaced out correctly. Um, they're gonna add an extra inch, and then also they're changing the ball joint angle. Because right now where the angle is set at, it's kind of optimized for an S30 knuckle, and I have S14 knuckles on here. So, they're gonna do that for me, which is awesome. And then we're gonna get the Turbo fans. Alex is making me some custom turbo fans. His company, Airworks. That's you say what he sells. And then I, I'm gonna link it in because I think he already has some made for his wheels, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's he's been selling them. He sells them for two two different style wheels for right now. But he's made a bunch for his own wheels. He made a set for Larry Chen. Yeah. His Mustang build for him last that. year. But he's gonna make mine all out of CNC carbon. So. What? Yeah. Damn. Of course, dude. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So that's gonna be sick. Um, what else? Dude, I just wanna drive it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do my alignment again. Somebody did point out that when we were doing the alignment that we left the little pegs yeah. in the adjusters. <laughs> he called us rookie idiots or something. Very vulgar. Idiot mechanics. Yeah, rookies, like, damn, know, sorry. Whatever. Yeah, we did do that. That's, <laughs> not, that's not a lie. Um, so we gotta, we gotta do it anyways because I'm gonna put the new arms on there, so. Do you wanna announce the uh, secret drive? Oh yeah, we could talk talk about that now. We just <laughs> decided this like a couple hours ago, but we are. If you're in the local Baltimore, DC, PA, Virginia, DMV D -D -D. area, no, I got right my side. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are gonna we're gonna do a what do we call it? A dots a street bandito Z drive. Or yeah, bandito we were drive. Say, yeah. yeah, we're gonna do like only Zs because. Kyle just finished his 300ZX, which you'll see on Tuesday. Yep. Tuesday's video. Um, he's got a Z31, which you guys have been asking for videos in the comments. Mm -hmm. like, oh, what that, that white Z31 in the background, show us some stuff on that. So, got that video coming. on the coils coming on that on Tuesday. Um, but we, we're gonna actually do a full drive because it's not really, with COVID and all this crazy stuff happening, we can't really have a meet like we did last summer. Mm -hmm. We really want to do, obviously, but. Um, we can like sit down and talk with guys and like interact yeah it's fun right. um but so this year we're gonna try to just do a uh, a drive if for some reason covid goes away which i don't see, it doesn't really look like it is it looks like it's uh, doing the then opposite. maybe we'll do one like later at like end of the fall or something like that when it's like not too cold to drive but mm -hmm. we'll see we'll just play it by ear but a nice drive would be cool masks are definitely you should wear a mask yeah <laughs> please <laughs> uh, that way uh, you guys can come out and at least see the build and, and say what's really, up. We were saying if you have z's come out and drive with us we're starting at a certain point we're i'll post it we'll put it in the you're gonna mention it. facebook group we'll put it in the link below now we'll mention a couple videos also because 
Yeah, we'll put it at the end of the Kyle's video as well, so people that are looking for Z content. But you don't have to have a Z, obviously, to come drive, but we were like hoping you would. But bring whatever you got, it'll be cool. I'll be there in my S2000, so. Yeah. And if anybody has a Z32 on the market. We've been trying to get him some type of Z, and Z32s are cool and nobody here has one. Yep, so if y'all have a Z32 out there in these streets, or just a shell, preferably, comment Nobody below. Nobody needs those engines. Yep. Nobody needs mm -mm. them. But yeah, so carbon stuff, next episode, finish up the last little bits of the body to get it on the road, then hopefully the lights will come in from Alex, then we'll get some tags on this guy, and then we'll go for a cruise. Mm-hmm.